The other thing that really favors neuroplasticity are what are called gap effects. Anytime you're learning something, it pays to have random intervals in which you stop and do nothing. You're practicing a scale, or you're practicing a piece of music. Every once in a while, if you have a, a timer that goes off randomly or the instructor or teacher tells you stop and you attempt to do nothing, you could close your eyes or keep them open, but you stop the motor pattern or you stop trying to do the math problem or you stop trying to do the physical sequence that you were doing. It turns out that when we sleep, there's a rapid replay of these sequences that of events during the day, but at much higher speed. So for, per unit time, you're getting about 10 to 60 times the replay or repetition of what you're doing during the day. During these brief gaps, these 10 second gaps that are introduced while awake during your learning, you get a 10 to 20 times repeat of whatever sequence you were trying to learn. So this is a way of getting more repetitions in even though you're doing less.